Okay, so the crafting system. So right now we have the ability to build walls and floors and we can link them up and do some crazy things. What if we wanted a box? Right? Like if I take this and I duplicate him and we call him a storage box. And I'll change his name to storage box. And we need a part. So let's build a box. Do I maybe even have a box? Let's see. Head box, ammo box. That's a little small. Ah, that'll work. So we're going to take this guy and he is going to be our storage box. So for now, I am just going to stick him in as an original prefab. So our storage box builds that guy. And he needs, and I'll use that up for an icon. Maybe we just need wood for him. We don't need stone. Five wood or something. <coughs> so, there is, is one thing that we're going to want to do is those are our recipes. So we need a storage box, it needs to go in there. So we need uh, a way, and if we look into crafting, if we were to build the storage box, he would go through this exact same system and work just like the other things. So. I think what we should do is right here in between where it does all the resources is we will get recipe in question what we're going to do is in these things we're going to build a bool uh, build to inventory and it can just be default as false I'm just going to copy that and this guy can use it save Bool paste false save storage box and bool paste true and now he is a slightly different recipe than the other ones so now we can here get FSM bool of the recipe in question and that FSM name is copy paste and that is build to inventory pretty sure it's exactly how I wrote it and let's just double check because spelling is very important I'm just going to copy that make sure that is precise uh, build to inventory and then we're just going to bool test that 
build the inventory. So if true and if false. So if false, it, it'll be like the <clears throat> like the wall will just it'll be like nothing happened, more or less. But if it's true, okay. If it's true, then we need to do something else because we want to add it to our inventory. So now this thing deals with. that stuff this I, do we know why we have this here we can actually delete that I'm not going to right now just in case I have it for a reason so if we want to build it and we want it to go straight to our inventory we know in our inventory we can add an item and it does this And it checks uh, all of this stuff. So we need to more or less just add it in, just like it's an item. Only we, we don't actually have an item, right? So this one has an item. I'm just going to copy that. And how do we go and do that? So I want to add Yeah, so okay, we want because it, it, it's asking for certain data. Let's see what that says. So we need to send an event, the quantity, the name, and the icon the player so if that's the case all we need to do here do we have a player reference yes we do is we need to set event data and we need to send event So we're going to send the event to the player to add item. And we need the quantity, which in, in reality, I, I, or I mean, you, 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 could, you could do this by variable, but really, I'm only building one if I craft something. And we need a name and the icon. So we need to get from this guy, are we, from this guy, the recipe in question, which is going to be him, we need to get FSM spring which we probably already have this somewhere but of it's going to be of the recipe in question but it's going to be the name because we're going to send that there see I mean we already have the the name but <clears throat> whatever so we're gonna send that that and we need an icon so we need to also 
get FSM object. Which will be the recipe, which will be the icon. And we need a new object. Creating icon. So Unity Engine Sprite. Just like that. And then now we can set that here. So we have created, so we we get this stuff, the data, and we're going to send it there. And when we finish, so we don't need to do this little part. We're not going to be building it. It's just going to go straight into the system. But we do need to reduce resources. So it's got to go there. So <coughs> now pretty sure I was thinking of something I had to do, but let's test. So let's go get some wood. Why can I not move all of a sudden? Something weird's going on. I did something. Okay, so player. You go grab some wood. Apparently I can't move you. And go crafting. We have a whole whack of things we gotta fix. So I create. I should now have that storage box. Which, eh, do, 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 where is it? Go click on the player. What do we have? We have wood. Yeah, okay, so, first of all, let's see what the hell's going on here. So we go crafting, we get a whole bunch of this. We go inventory, we have nothing. So that's going to be because we have where is this guy crafting recipes I don't know why we have the content at 24 here Let's bring that down to 3 That should just give us those three, right? If I do storage, oh, that's that guy. All right, so we, we have to add some logic in so that we're not, so that's not up when we're, <coughs> unless that window's open. So we need him. So if, like, if we were to click here, Obviously, we don't have our. We don't have anything. We'd have to pick stuff up. I create floor. We should now have enough. 2010 and. Okay, a stone wall. Oh, well, the wall works. What do we just make the floor super crazy? Wood floor. We need stone and wood. So we should be able to create floor. Okay. 
that works. All right, and if we create, I don't know what happened to not move my player. Like, I, I didn't even really do anything in here. It's, I don't know. I'll look into that. So create, if I create a box, I suppose I should close this window or undo whatever it's doing there. We should have something added to our inventory. Now there might be something there, right? Because if I add item, he gets the get game object data. He gets all this stuff. And in the end, if I remember right, he destroys the incoming item. So that's going to be a bit of an issue, right? Because <clears throat> we don't want it to destroy if we're sending it from our inventory system, because then we're going to destroy our inventory system, which is probably what's happening there. And we don't really want that. So the other thing is here we have the data and it gets this stuff from that. So what we're going to do here is we are going to make another event it's called add item from craft and this can also get the info but it's not going to get the incoming item <coughs> this time it is going to get the incoming quantity I totally spelled that wrong apparently and the incoming sprite and the incoming name because that's what we're going to send because that's what this thing is doing right it's getting those from the items and then I'm going to copy that and paste them actually we don't even well yeah actually yeah you know what we, d we don't need to duplicate this thing Let's let's do this instead. Let's <coughs> move this thing down here, ba -doop, ba -doop. right, and then he can go like this. Oh, and we'll just have him finish and go into here. So it's the same thing. I'm just stretching it out, and then I can do the same thing here. And then stretch them up. So this guy doesn't need. Oh no, we took it from there, so it's not a big deal, right? So they're both getting the same data, <coughs> and then they go. But, but, let's make a little bool called destroy me. So here, set bool value destroy me to false, move me to the top, copy, paste before to true. Now, bool test, destroy me if true, and if false, true then we are going to take that guy and destroy the incoming item <coughs> which I, I can use this thing because we, we don't plan to destroy it if we're coming from here so we don't have to worry about that right so this guy here has this destroy so we're gonna finish go here 
and get rid of his destroy. This guy, who doesn't have the destroy because we took it, will finish and he can also go to here. And this guy doesn't have nothing. We don't actually need a false, we just need if it's true. There we go. <coughs> so he does all his fun stuff. And then they check that bull, whether they want to destroy it or not. Alright, so let's grab this stuff. I should really look and see why our player's not moving. So we can create our storage box. And I should now be able to go to ooh, my inventory. Okay, let's go to the player. So we got destroy me true incoming quantity 5 and we never change that thing so we've got to make sure we do that because we're no longer sending it to add item we're add item from craft we have two ways into our adding item system now because now if I create the storage box if I look at the player now destroy me is false which is why it stopped there incoming quantity is 1 the name is a storage box and that's the logo we're using apparently so now We have a storage box, quantity one, with our crazy logo. There it is, there's our storage box. So now we should look in to see why. If, okay, because normally if we click and it it is still the building thing, we deactivate crafting. Because when we come up to here, we destroy the current recipes. So, we don't really want to do that. We want to reduce resources, but we don't want to necessarily destroy me. Unless we're closing the system down. So I'm going to actually duplicate this guy. And bring him up here and just not go to the destroy me. We'll reduce our resources, but we won't destroy our buttons. Don't really need to in our situation for this. Alright, so we craft our box. We keep these things, we don't destroy them, so I can create more now. Go to my inventory, and there's the box. Everything's super ugly because I'm using virtually nothing for skins and obviously size wise I, I mean if you go full screen it looks a lot better I can guess okay, I really gotta look into see why that player is not moving anymore so I could have sworn did, didn't we build a movement thing I thought we did right because here we have our movement it's just a basic movement there's nothing here right controller simple move same move, but we are not moving. So, that is weird. And I'm not too sure why that's doing that all of a sudden. Unless it has something to do with our reference. So... Main camera, where is our main camera? Right there. Nah, I don't know. Look into that later. So, one of the other things is we have this. <coughs> uh, is it our interaction that's doing that? Where we left click and we do this stuff item next right this is th this is where this thing's coming in 
right? We click and we have this. Like, and this is supposed to be mimicking one of our boxes, as you've probably seen from the previous video, so we can click and drag and move things around. Thing is, we don't want this to happen if our inventory is not up. That's like, what the hell's going on there? Right? So what we're going to do is do a simple actually we can probably just stick it right here right off of this click very first thing is is active so if this guy is active okay go and deal with whatever you're dealing with but if you're not active then frankly go back go up here go away you don't want to see your stupid box All right breaks now if I click it's not there I open up the inventory now granted now it's it's showing over here so we have to oh I did something I broke it um, we would need to make sure that we're actually over something which, which I thought we had that in there but apparently we don't Right, because if we go over to the interaction, and we can see this st stuff over here, right? So, if we click, I mean, it's not active. If I do the crafting, it's still not active, which is good. I open up the inventory. Now, the inventory is active. Now, if I click and drag, yeah, he's having some sort of issue here. Right, so it's empty. He's seeing this as empty, so he doesn't want to go, which is fine. That's that's what we built. Yeah, no, that's oh, we have something there apparently. What the hell do we have in our inventory? Oh, apparently we have wood. Well, there you go. All right, so yeah, we just we'll have that one check there for if it's active. If it's if it's active, function. Not active, don't function. Might have to add something else to it after. But hey, whatever. I am really curious about this moving though. Like it's kind of mind-boggling that we are unable to move relative to player. He's getting a vector, multiplying it. I can't see the speed screwing that up. That is so weird. Unless I put something in the camera system that's, you know, making his position stay still or something. getting a vector it's got the simple move it's got the character controller oh you know what I did well I was playing I don't know if anyone seen my I, I was playing on a, a space thing with missiles blowing things up and I turned gravity off now oh, okay well that's okay 
working now. Well, I learned something new. Apparently, if your gravity is off, you can't run a character controller, or maybe I wasn't grounded. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so there you go. There you have it. Don't turn off your gravity if you have a character controller. Or make sure to turn it back on, one or the other. What do we got? We're at 30 minutes. I wonder if we should leave it there. And then in the next episode, we'll get into, like, I guess not in play mode, being able to click on the item here and then have it build somewhere in here. Right? Kind of like the normal, like we have the crafting, we click on it, we build, but use it with the items. Like we'll do a, our box and maybe a campfire or something like that. We'll put those down. So, I think we'll call that good. We've cleared up a couple issues, but we have can now build into our inventory. Alright, we'll talk to you guys later.